Okay, here we got the standard Bosch pump on top of a GRD 1.5 Aussie dealer one. I'm not sure if it's different to the one in the States. But to get into the top of the pump, I'm just going to remove four screws located on the top. There's one underneath the throttle plate there as well. And we're going to undo this nut as well for the throttle shaft. And I'll pull it off and I'll show you what's on the inside. Also, one thing to notice, I'm not sure if this will get close enough, or if you pick it up, there's actually a mark. on that nut that lines up to where on that throttle plate to show you the orientation of the shaft so just keep in mind or even score something to make sure that stays in line so you can open it up and not muck with your idle or anything just before you pull it apart just take note of these under the spring underneath the location of these two pins they give it the leverage so we need to get that back onto the pump when it gets pulled off alright so this is the inside of the pump and this is what the governor mod is you can see there's different springs there and there's three flat washers I've actually put a stainless steel washers in there so it doesn't react to the biodiesel in order to get this shaft out though, you have to, there's a little C clip just in here. Oops. There's a little C clip in here that just has to be prized off. Just on the top there. Okay, so this is what the top, the top of your pump taken off, this was a should look like. I just removed that little C clip that was there very carefully. You might want to put something underneath it to catch it so it doesn't fall down into your pump. So otherwise you'll be fishing in it for ages. Just carefully remove that. And then this should slide. Out like so. So there you have uh, the governor inside the pump. This is the governor here. That's the main spring there. You can see the three washers that I've inserted there to put a bit more tension on that and that'll ensure that the fueling is isn't restricted higher up in the rev range and it's probably wise to replace this little bushing this little o, o seal sorry um, when you replace it because mine started leaking out of the top because it's, you can see it's pretty pretty loose there so So this just clips out, you push that out and it pops out. It takes a bit of mucking around to get it back in together. This is quite fiddly, I'm trying to get the little C clips back on and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to pull it apart here but that gives you a better idea of what it is.